The UCS has always focused on centralizing and simplifying the administrative tasks around the individual components of the IT infrastructure. One of the many small tools that simplify your life are the so-called user templates. These help you to create new users, save valuable time and don't let you forget any attributes which certain user groups might need. In this video, we will show you how you create, configure and finally use such user templates. First of all, we open the UMC, the Univention Management Console. In here, you are able to configure different system and domain settings, like user and computer configurations, so to speak the big control center. We select the tab domain and choose LDAP directory. In the LDAP directory, we look under Univention, scroll down a bit and look for the folder Templates. Here we add now a new template. We click on Add and as type we choose Settings User Template. Then we click on Next. Here we will set all possible attributes which should be preset for a user. Using the command udm users slash user, you see all possible attributes which can be configured for users of your UCS domain. First of all, we need a name for the user template. We call it simply user template interns. Now we configure a primary email address. In my case, I configure the primary mail address as first name in angle brackets, dot, last name in angle brackets, at, and in my case, the domain name organization.intranet. At the end, we add some more macros. In my case, strip, lower and umlauts. What do they do? Well, our email address will be created according to a certain scheme. This contains the first name followed by a dot, then the last name followed by an at, and then at last our domain name. The whole string will be checked by these macros. The macro strip checks that the email address has no spaces. The macro lower ensures that all is written in lowercase and with the macro umloads, all umloads are replaced. In total, there are five of these macros available. These are colon lower, colon upper, colon umloads, colon strip and for example, zero colon five in square brackets. This macro would truncate our string to the first six letters from the zeros to the fifth letter. We would like to explain one final difference between last name in angle brackets, colon strip in angle brackets and last name colon strip in angle brackets. With colon strip in angle brackets, the whole string is checked for spaces, as we have done above. With last name colon strip in angle brackets, only the last name will be checked. And if there are any spaces in it, they would be removed. With the mail address we use here, we have to be attentive because we always need to enter a first name. Otherwise, our mail address would start with a dot, which would result in an invalid mail address according to the conventions. Down below are further settings available, for example the employee type. In my case I enter intern. Then we look in the tab groups. Here we configure the different pre-assigned groups. We define the primary group as the main users. Next we assign multiple other groups. In my case I choose guests and users office München. Then we click on add. In the tab account, we select user has to change password on next login. Further settings are explained in another video, which we have linked in the upper right corner. The last thing we want to do now is to set up the next cloud quota under advanced settings. For example, we enter one gigabyte and create the LDAP object. In the tab users, we select the module users and add a new user via user template interns. Here you see the selected checkbox, user has to change password on next login, which we've already configured in the user template. And we click on create user. For now that's it. Let's take a look if everything has been set up correctly. We recommend to test every new user template before using it. We choose Max Mustermann and here we see the email address maximilian.mustermann at organization.intranet. Down below we see all macros have been entered and at Nextcloud is our Nextcloud quota on 1GB. And the groups are also all properly set. 
This was the video for the user templates under UCS. Further information and the UCS download can be found at udivention.com. Stay up to date and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials about UCS.